Well, these are people from, uh, these are Nigerians from my own constituency, the youthful constituency. They should join, uh, you know, me in fighting the scourge of, uh, you know, cyber crime. It bleeds my heart when they are doing something that ordinarily they shouldn't do, you know, and all of it. We are working, it's part of our mandate to fight uh, cyber crime, to fight advanced fee fraud, and that is the only thing that we have been, uh, we have been doing, and we are, we are working in conformity with the law. Uh, as at uh, uh, the 22nd of uh, uh, October this year, we have succeeded in securing 2,847 convictions, you know, and over 70% has to do with the issue of cyber crime. The activities of these cyber criminals is uh, tarnishing our image by the day, you know, over over, 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 over uh, across the Atlantic, people are trying to see us, you know, uh, as, a, as a cyber crime uh, infested country, which I believe we are not. Uh, it is based on maybe the high number of population that you tend to see that yes, you know, you know, you know, you know, we are doing we are doing one or two things, you know, in that uh, in that area. But we are working. We are not deterred. We continue to do what we have to do, and I'm, I'm pleading with them that they shouldn't be doing uh, things, uh, you know, at this part of. Uh, uh, the transition of the country in terms of elections, in terms of uh, uh, the government efforts in trying to see that uh, the economy is back on track. Mr. Chairman, just one second before you go. When you are soon on the elections, you 